customers for purchasing our products. To protect your investment, experience shows that spending a small amount of time and effort on preventive maintenance will help keep your GMK in good condition for many years. In this video, we want to highlight some of the important maintenance tasks on your GMK crane. By no means are the shown tasks complete or encompassing. Always refer to the crane manuals for specific details and instructions. In all cases, the crane should be suitably prepared, including lockout, tagout procedures whenever appropriate. Firstly, we consider some of the daily tasks. Check the following functions before operating or driving the crane. Check lights and signals. All lights on the carrier and superstructure as well as horn, windscreen wipers and washing system. Check tires. Inspect all tires for damage, uneven wear or objects such as rocks. It is important to check the tires from both sides. Tires will become damaged if they are driven when underinflated, so regularly check tire pressure. Check engine coolant. Engine coolant level should be at the lower marking in the filler neck. Add coolant if necessary and close the cap. Similarly, check the superstructure engine when fitted. Check engine oil level. To check, start the engine and let it idle for two to three minutes. Switch off and check the oil level after leaving it to settle for about two minutes. Oil should be between the min and max markings on the dipstick. Add oil if necessary. If the crane has a superstructure engine, the same procedure applies. Check exhaust system def level. Low def level will lead to a reduction in engine power. A gauge for the def tank is located on the ECOS display in the cab. Add def if necessary. Also check the superstructure engine when fitted. Check hydraulic oil level. The hydraulic oil level should be visible in the middle of the inspection glass when all cylinders are retracted. Use caution when topping up the tank, as even fresh hydraulic oil must be filtered for impurities. This also applies to the superstructure tank. Check for leaks and or damage. Cylinders, pipes and hoses should be checked for leaks and the whole carrier checked for integrity. Investigate any evidence of leakage or damage. The superstructure should be checked as well. Drain water from fuel filters. Place a diesel resistant container underneath the fuel filter. Drain the liquid until clean diesel emerges. Suitably dispose of the waste. Don't forget to drain the carrier fuel filter. Check hoist rope operation. The hoist rope should be evenly wound on the drum, run freely along the boom and over the sheaves. The hoist rope should be free from damage over its complete length. Here are a few other things you should also check. Drain the liquid until clean air emerges from all air tanks. The oil level should be visible in the middle of the inspection glass. Check the operation and grease level in both the carrier and superstructure lubrication systems. Now let us run through a few special maintenance tasks to help keep your GMK in good condition. 
Again, always refer to the crane manuals for specific details and instructions. In all cases, the crane should be suitably prepared, including lockout, tagout procedures, whenever appropriate. Check and refill lubricant in Mega Track Suspension Strut. With the crane on level ground and the suspension ride height set for normal highway driving, the lubricant should be visible in the middle of the inspection glass on each suspension strut. If the level is too low, connect the filling device and slowly inject oil until it reaches the middle of the inspection glass. If the level is too high, it may indicate an internal hydraulic oil leak in the strut, and this should be investigated. It is critical that only the specified lubricant is used. There are no suitable alternatives. Protect lift cylinder rod. The end of the piston rod should be coated with a penetrant grease to avoid rust developing under the chrome surface. Rust breaking through the chrome surface will damage the seals in the lift cylinder head. Clean the uncovered end of the piston rod and spray with the penetrant grease. This procedure should be repeated periodically, especially after pressure washing the crane. Lubricating Boom and Pinning System The boom should be greased regularly to ensure smooth operation and reduce pinning problems. To do this job effectively, we recommend to use our dedicated boom lubrication tools. Remove the plates from both sides of the boom section openings and use the lance to spray the internal sliding surfaces on both sides. For the outer sliding surfaces, use the nozzle gun to spray the grease quickly and evenly. Repeat this for all boom sections, then fully extend and retract the boom to distribute the grease. Check and refill suspension accumulators. The nitrogen pressure in the suspension system accumulators should be periodically checked and refilled if necessary. Testing and refilling should only be carried out by competently trained personnel. Manitowoc Crane Care, together with our distribution partners, provide a complete service and support program for all Manitowoc products. All maintenance tools and specialist lubricants shown in this video are available from Manitowoc Crane Care. Please also visit our website for further details.